I'd like to say a little bit of something about myself. Hi, my name is Omar. And this year, 2022, in October, I'm going to be turning 50. Woohoo! I am quite excited about it uh, because I feel like I'm turning into a new chapter of my life. At the same time, I'm quite scared because, you know, I'm not getting any younger anymore. And I'd like to be the best of my health after turning 50. I am married with uh, three uh, grown-up children. And I've been living abroad with my family for a number of years now. And I am working as an orthopedic nurse. And I've been a nurse for more than 25 years. Why am I doing this challenge? Well, it's long overdue now. I should have done this a long time ago. But actually I did, but I keep on failing. Mahirap kasi magpapayat. Napakahirap. Para sa akin, madali magpataba. But it's so, so difficult to trim down. When did I become obese? Well, it all started when um, I brought my family here. And back then, I used to live on my own. I love exercising. I used to run like four to six times in a week. At mabibilang ko sa daliri ko kung ilang beses ako kumain ng kanin uh, in a year. Kasi nga, hindi naman ako nagluluto. Uh, if I cook very seldom, then kukunti lang talaga ako kumain noon. And then I have my cravings as well. Sometimes pinagbibigyan ko rin ng sarili ko. And when I crave, I do really crave. So how did I become obese? Tumaba ako nung, uh, nung malilit pa yung mga anak ko. So no more often times na iniiwan nila yung pagkain nila na hindi ubos. So I don't want to waste food. So ano nangyayari, ako yung kumakain ng mga leftovers nila. And then sometimes, or more often times, they will request to, to buy food from outside like Chinese takeaways, you know, chicken and chips, pizzas, we'll go to McDonald's and all sorts of that. Because, you know, I've been away from my family for, for years. So somehow, when I enjoy ko naman nung uh, kasama sila when we go out or when we eat, when we buy something from outside and we share it on dinner time or lunch time. What was my lifestyle before I became obese? I know, as I said, you know, I used to I used to exercise a lot when I was a kid. Like when I was uh, in the fourth, sixth grade until about high school. You know, me, my uncles, and my my brother would go out. We wake up like five o'clock in the morning, and just go jogging. Don't sa park namin sa Cavite City, and then pagkawe nagjijip na kami. Or sometimes we just walk from from the park up to uh, our place. Uh, and I've been enjoying that since then. Uh, um, lifestyle ko naman ngayon because I work on nights. So tendency, I don't do much at home. I sleep after work. And then when I eat, I binge. Uh, kasi I feel like yung kulang ko sa pagtulog ay binabawi ko sa pagkain so I've been binge eating most of the time especially pag gusto ko yung pagkain and I don't know parang mali na nakikrave ako sa rice kaya nga sabi ko sa family ko na wag silang magluluto ng rice lagi because I tend to eat them thus being obese affect my physical and mental being? Of course it does. You know, when you're getting older, you know, you think about it all the time. Well, what's gonna happen to you if you don't take care of yourself? So, ganun lagi na isip ko eh. In the back of my mind, you know, I, I always think that I have to do something about it. But, you know, the motivation is just lacking. And then physically, Talaga ano eh, mabigat ang katawan ko, mabigat pag ako mataba. Ang, ang pinaka 
maximum weight ko, pinaka-peak ang weight ko, usually 90, 90 kilograms. Uh, that's too much for me. Beyond that, hindi ko kaya. Do I have any illnesses? <clears throat> Sa ngayon, wala. Apart from my lower back pain. Siguro, yung aking pagiging overweight contributes to it as well. Ay, kailangan ko talaga magpapayat na. It's getting worse and worse over time. Back when I had my first um, lower back pain attack, it only lasted for like three, four days. And it happened to me three times. And the, f the last one, the fourth time, it lasted for a month. And that was a long time. And hopefully, na hindi na mangyari ulit siya. That's why I have to do something about it. Does my family has medical history? Well, my father died of heart attack. He was diabetic, and so was my mom. She was diabetic too, and she died of cancer. My family on my father's side is usually heart issues and um, diabetes too. And on my mom's side, diabetes, that's number one. And her brother died of cancer as well. So that's one thing I'm trying to prevent. Diabetes, cancer, heart disease, strokes. Lahat na yata. Ay kailangan ko talaga ang anong iwasan. But you know, I hopefully, and I pray that it's not yet too late to do something about my health. What is my ideal weight? When I was on my tip-top shape, I was... 70 kilograms but I was building muscles and I was really slim I watched my diet and yeah I think 70 72 is okay 74 maybe not so bad but I did ko talaga is 70 if I go 69 68 that's even better for me and but in 70 that, I think that's okay na. that's that's more than enough so my target really is 70 kilograms. What is my goal? My goal is to live longer and be with my family for such a long time and be active even when I'm even when I get older. Be physically active and ma avoid ko yung mga diseases, yung mga sakit sakit and be an inspiration among others. I want to inspire people sa gagawin ko. And also just to be happy of what I've achieved. It's a, it's a victory for me. So this challenge is between me and me only and no one else. Do I have anyone supporting me with this challenge? Yes, definitely my family. Um, my wife been bugging me about this, especially my children. So what's going to be my reward after achieving my goal? Well, siguro I'll start with having a nice meal. And merong lichon, may menudo, may embutido, maraming kanin. No joke lang. Siyempre, siguro I wanna buy... I'll probably go for a holiday. No. Pasal ko siguro wife ko. Or the whole family maybe. Because that's what we do usually. Um, so my challenge starts from the month of September up to uh, 22nd of October. Which is my birthday. And um, I hope I'm going to achieve it. So I try to lose between 1.5 kilograms to um, 2 kilograms a week. So I have like eight weeks to do it. And um, so if I be losing 1.5 kilograms a week, that will be 12 kilograms for the whole eight weeks. And if I do two kilograms, I will be losing 16 kilograms in eight weeks time. So, but I try to, um, to do the 1.5 because two kilograms may be too drastic for me and it might not be good for my health. Uh, kailangan 
gradual lang talaga eh. So, I think ideally, it's 1 kilogram a week. That's the ideal weight loss for a week. Um, guys, samahan niyo po ako. Keep on praying for me that I'll be able to achieve this. If I manage to pull it off, I will be very, very happy at na-achieve ko ito. And um, who knows, maybe I'll be an inspiration to someone else. So, sana magawa ko lang. <laughs>